Hello, beautiful beings here on Earth. It's Shauna L. Francis. Today is November 7th, 2020. I channel the Galactic Federation of Light and I'm doing it on a mainly a daily basis here for the last few months. Thanks for joining. The Federation has said that if you are resonating with these messages and with these frequencies, you are very likely a member of the Galactic Federation of Light. Um, so, I mean, when they first started talking about this a couple months ago, I was pretty much in shock <laughs> where that was going. But um, how fun is that? It's exciting. It's exciting to um, of that prospect that we are part of this galactic family come here to Earth to fight the dark alongside the Galactic Federation of Light and our other highly evolved beings um, here of light who are helping us at this time. So um, I'm certainly honored and thrilled and I'm glad that you're here. We are building quite a team, quite a soul family here and lots of support and love through all the YouTube comments. So thanks everybody for being there for each other, um, for helping support each other. It's just truly remarkable and I'm, I'm really honored to be a part of this. All right, so I am uh, in the sea of, at the Sea of Cortez here in a little town called Spa Buena Vista. One of the casitas is behind me here. Um, there's a two-story casita right there. I'm gonna remodel the top of that one and live in it. That's my plan. And here's the casita that I'm staying in. And we've got the Sea of Cortez over that way and a bit of a sunset. So they still can't find the deed to this property. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to play this one by ear and go with the flow and see what happens there. Um, my son and his girlfriend are coming to join me tomorrow. I'm super excited about that. I've been here quite a bit and they, the, this will be the first family that's been able to come down and, and spend time with me here. So just a handful of days, five days or so. Um, and he turns 24 while he's here, so he'll be here for his birthday. And quick update on my dad. He went through his first full week of chemo and radiation for his brain cancer. And he's in a really good mood and doing really well. So just a little bit tired. But I spoke with him this morning and he's doing great. Uh, so thanks everybody again for all your prayers and your recommendations for him and your well wishes and your energy. So thank you so much. All right, so um, with that, I'll go ahead and get quiet and we'll see what the Galactic Federation of Light would like to talk about today. Beautiful beings of light here on Mother Earth. It is the Galactic Federation of Light, your brothers and sisters in arms during this massive transformation that we are calling the Ascension. If you're listening to these messages, you are a light worker. If you're drawn to these frequencies, you are a member of the Galactic Federation of Light here on Earth, incarnated into a human body for a very important reason, we are helping to awaken you to this fact, to help guide you as you transform into a being of light, as you shun fear, shed that which no longer serves you, as you come to know yourselves in light, in love, in truth, in freedom, in sovereignty, and in choice, we are here. We will not stop until this is done. We will see this through to the end. And we thank you. We thank you so much for making this a priority in your world, for taking the time to focus on you, for being the beacons of light that you came here to be. This is such an important time in humanity's history. You as a species, transforming your vibrational rate from a third dimensional frequency to a fifth dimensional frequency. This is no small feat. This is not for the faint of heart. And you are not faint of heart. You are ready for this. You are ready for ascension. You have asked for this. You've raised your hand to be here at this time. There is no wavering. There is no faltering. 
only steadfast determination and focus on what's most important for you as a singularity right now in this infinite moment. We do not mince words. We are giving it to you straight. This time is critical. If you haven't pivoted yet, we ask that you really consider this idea. Pivot from third dimensional paradigm fear-based thinking to a fifth dimensional love-based, all-encompassing, loving light existence where your species is headed as a whole. You can do this. You are doing this now. And these little steps that you take, these giant steps that you take are all contributing to the whole. Nothing you're doing is for naught. Everything you're doing has reason. Everything you do in love and light is sending out a resonance a vibrational frequency that is changing this world forever. Please don't doubt this. Don't doubt how important you are as a singularity in this process. We love you. We thank you. We want only the best for you. You have the best of intentions, but sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes things happen, make it hard to see the light, like putting on shades or drawing down the blinds of a window. The water begins to cloud. The air begins to be thick with clouds and smoke. Know that this is temporary. Know that with your choices and with your higher vibrational status, that those clouds will clear out much more quickly. Your lows will be less low. Your highs will be higher and longer. Everything is a cycle. You will continue to experience light and dark, but the times you spend in darkness will be fleeting and there'll be fewer and fewer of them farther between. So my loved ones, embrace the light that you are. And when you're feeling great, really sink into that feeling. Strive to feel that way as much as you can. It is a choice. Realize that there is nothing in your world that's worth you dampening your light. There is nothing here going on in your world that is going to give you benefit of aligning to dark and aligning to lower frequencies and aligning to the lower chakras for survival mode. So this is the time that you take care. Be in touch with what dampens your frequency. Really pay attention to those moments where you're not feeling great. Be conscious of those moments in your world. What's causing that? Ask for help, pray for guidance. We continue to guide you here in terms of this phase of ascension and making sure that you, my loved one, you are doing well. You are in the light. You are feeling good. You are following your bliss. You are answering the calling. And that you see that you are fully in choice here in the type of reality that you're experiencing. This is the message we'd like you to understand today. This is the message that we bring you today. We want you to really understand this deep in your heart from the seat of your soul. This is what you're here to do. This is why you worked so hard 
to get to this point. You have everything you need, everything you need to fulfill your missions. So continue, my friends, to focus on this. Make this a priority. Make you a priority. Make love a priority. And do not allow and do not choose fear, anger, anxiety, worry, shame, guilt, regret, feelings of inferiority, confusion. These are parts of the shadow self your ego and your thoughts that would like to keep you where you used to be that was comfortable for you it's okay to break free from that now and recreate yourself in a brand new way you can do this you are doing it we love you so much and with this message we leave you for today Thank you so much, Galactic Federation of Light, for that. Thank you. Thanks for that message. It's a quick one today, guys. I hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing time to be alive and to be going through this journey with all of you. So thank you. I love you all so much.